Well, uh, today we're gonna start building the base. I had planned to do this for the last episode, but we kind of got distracted by that that wyvern attack. <laughs> Holy crap. So uh, this is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna actually be just starting the base over here. Uh, we're gonna be building over the water, as I mentioned before. Um, now I've kind of come up with, in my mind, what we're doing, but we're gonna probably be coming up with things along the way too and everything like that. So. I guess let's just start here. So I was trying to like test out like different angles and different heights of the pillars the other day before I started. Um, and this is kind of what we've got. We've got like four pillars up here and I'm thinking that we're going to go at like this angle. Previously I had a facing a little bit further out and like the second pillar on the other side went completely into the water. So I think I want both pillars on the land. Um, Cause I don't know, I think that would look a little bit better. It would look like less crooked or, or whatever. I don't know. So. Let's start this. Okay. So I don't know how many ceilings we're gonna go out by. That's four now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think I want it to be an odd number, so I'll go eleven. Let me see. Is that good? Okay, that goes slightly into the water now. That's okay though. It's not the worst thing in the world. Is that enough though? I think I might go 13. We'll go 13. Can I even get this last one? I can't. Sweet. Okay. So then let's come down with some pillars here. By the way, guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point. Okay, we got all the pillars in. That looks okay. That doesn't look too bad. Now, what I've kind of got planned is, is that we're going to have... Um, let's grab the ramps from up here. We're going to have like ramps coming down. We're going to have like a center kind of uh, walkway. And you're going to be able to like walk in and there's going to be like a room underneath there. Where the hell are the ramps? Oh, here. Uh, I'm definitely going to need more. So let's go craft some more ramps. Ramp. Uh, let's just craft like another another 17, I guess. Um, I'm going to put those there. i got to fix my rifle at some point. So the idea is, yeah, we're going to have uh, ramps coming down. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go right to the edge. We'll see about that. Let's come down from this side too. Two, three. Okay, maybe we'll leave like a three wide gap that you can walk in. Is that three? Yeah, that's three. That's perfect. Okay, let's come down with the rest of them here. Uh, attach. Okay, we need more ramps now. But this is kind of the general idea. We're going to have like this little kind of like walkway in here. And we're going to have just the ramps coming up on the other side. So you can come up here. There's going to be stuff up here. You can go down there. There's going to be like some open space and some rooms down there. And I'm thinking that that's the spot where we're going to be building the, um, what's it, what's it even called? The, the like a uh, water dino kind of area. So we're going to build like a, something similar to what we had last uh, season, but not exactly the same because I don't want to. I don't want to just like repeat myself. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that some other time. Though that's like way off. I don't even own any water creatures. That's another thing. We gotta tame some. Also, uh, I do want to mention. I know a lot of people love this house, but this was never permanent. I just <laughs> I just want to mention that. Um, I didn't want to just make a crappy old shack, and I didn't want to not have a house. So we made a pretty nice house. And it's unfortunately going to have to go. But I'll leave it there for the moment. Can I? I can't. Okay, I don't even have any more ramps. I have some more crafted. But I was thinking if I could actually put the ramps into here. And if that would affect anything. I don't know. Okay. So here we have the area. We could probably at some point even come through and put in some of the sloped ceilings. Which I might actually. Or sloped walls even. Which I might do. Uh, do they? They don't snap to ramps, do they? I might have to switch those ramps over to actual sloped ceilings. We'll see. Let me, let me have a little look and just see if these snap in. I'll grab some walls as well. I've done a lot of grinding. Like, um, I did a huge amount of grinding. Oh, I'm way too heavy now. I did a huge amount of grinding. Um, oh, jeez, what day was it? It was almost like a week ago, to be honest, at this point. Um, I went around with the Dodic and the Trike. And to be honest, the worst part about the uh, collecting all those materials was the wood. Because I had to pretty much do that manually. Like, the Trike gets thatch, Dodic gets stone. But I had nothing for wood, really. So, that kind of sucks. And it just reminds me that we need to get so many other teams. It's, it's crazy. Can I... I'm still way too heavy. Do these line up with the S plus ramps at all? And can I 
snap them on. I cannot, I don't think. Okay. Let me see. You know what? We could probably do something here. If I go like this... How many more? Okay, if I go like that, we could potentially just kind of come down with uh, with walls like this. Um, like so, and then we'd probably, if we had sloped ceilings rather than ramps, I don't think we'd need a fourth one here. I don't believe we would. Let me see about actually getting those in, because I think that's going to look a lot better. Um, okay, hang on. We're yeah. way too heavy. Okay, because we have floating foundation support on the server, so we have, like, you know, stuff can kind of pretty much float like this <laughs> if I was to remove these. Um, I might need to go ahead and make those ceilings, because this would need to be a sloped bit right here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make those ceilings, and we're going to, or those roofs even, and we're just going to try to actually get the slope perfect before we move on. Okay, so I've got all of the, oh, they were up there. <laughs> I've got all of the uh, ceilings in now. They're actually the slope roofs, as I said before, um, and I've got these side walls in. The only problem is I can't actually put the last one here because that's why there's a floating wall because all this stuff is in the way I gotta move all this at some point but that's gonna be a big pain so <laughs> not right now uh, okay so I think from here what we're gonna do is I wanted to put on some ramps for sure to just kind of like uh, give it a nicer looking feeling to it okay hang on no I knew something would go wrong that <laughs> placed upside down what how okay give me do I have it? Okay. Let's pick that up. And there we go. So that should be enough for the other side as well, I believe. Um, but we will have to hold off on placing that last one. Oh. I love these S plus ones, the way they actually kind of like go with the slant. It's really cool. Oh. Oh my god. They're like flipping out and going all over the place. Um, so we can't place the last one down there, but yeah, you kind of get like the general gist of this. So from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to build back. And that's why I made so many ceilings because I had a feeling that we were just going to, we were going to go back really far here. And we're also going to have to go back down here too. And I don't know what level I'm going to go from. Probably like there's like a, the butt or the top of the wall right here. We're probably going to go back from there. I'd say, um, cause we're not going to like, obviously we're not going to have, more foundations or everything or anything down there we're gonna have to like somehow connect it to the rest of the building uh so let me okay let me put back some stuff so i can pick all the ceilings up can i move with this what's my weight right now oh i have a level what's my weight can i move with this no i probably need to drop more let me put these in here oh yeah yeah i can put these in here that's perfect that will allow us to move Sweet. Okay. So ceilings galore. We're just going to have to just spam these everywhere pretty much. Um, so from down here, where do we want to go from? I don't know if I want to go from there. I think I want to go one down. But we might have to go from here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably go from here, I guess. Put another ramp in connected to these. Can I just head back in this direction and we're, this is going to open up as well we're going to have like all this space down here it's just going to be more enclosed uh, than the top of course um, we're going to have to break that rock actually no screw it I'm going to get stone <laughs> I need stone actually wait no I don't really because I guess I have the dodic yeah that was a little bit dumb oh my god okay so, pretty much just gonna, like, cover all the bottom of here, and I have plans for, like, down here, but, like, this is honestly, the whole base is gonna be, like, a big kind of project. It's not really gonna be, like, our last base where we had, like, you know, in our last base we had just a big open area, and I just built, like, a several buildings around the place. With this, it's gonna be just a giant base, I imagine, with a couple things around here, of course, but at the same time, we're not gonna have, like, just a bunch of buildings inside of here. It's going to be, like, different rooms, different, like, the hell's that? Oh, it's the foundation from the building. 
it's going to have like different rooms and they're all going to have like different functions and stuff and like workshops and breeding areas and everything. It's going to be crazy. We're also going to have like a, our water pen connected in here somehow, somewhere. I'm not sure where <laughs> we're going to see. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to have to like fill in this a lot. But I'm probably going to focus more on the top, I'd say, today. So yeah, I think that's good for now. It just kind of gives us a general idea of what it's going to be like. Um, and obviously as well, actually, can I get around here? Wow, thing just pooped over there. That was disgusting. Um, we're going to have like stuff probably underneath the stairs as well. Maybe some storage or something like that. I'm not really sure. Like, I imagine like a breeding room like a some creature storage as well i think i might build like most of the creature storage out here instead of putting them over the water in case they glitch in and fall into the water or something like that but i'm not really sure we'll, we'll have to wait and see there's like a lot of stuff that we need to do basically is is my whole plan and this base is going to take a long time to make but i think right now we're just gonna mostly focus on just trying to get like our workshop area done because, like, that's, I think right now, that's, like, the most important thing. <laughs> Just getting a spot where I can kind of, like, build from and everything like that. And uh, maybe some storage as well. But I'm not really at the point where I'm going to be building vaults yet. Wait, why am I grabbing walls? I meant ceilings. Ceilings. There we go. Can I... I'm going to take those instead. Here, you have those. Oh, I'm way too heavy. It's because of the stone on me. Here you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Perfect. Okay. A uh, bit of a stall up. For some reason, when you transfer a bunch of items, that happens. It really sucks. I wish that would, like, not happen. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not exactly sure how big we're going to go with this area today. Um, but we got to put, like, I think I want to put, like, stone railings up on the top here. Kind of, like, uh, stop us from falling off, I guess. And I think we should be able to fit, like, most creatures into the bottom area here. Is that going to be, like, enough space now? Does that feel cramped? It doesn't really feel that cramped. Uh, it's, like, three ceilings high. Like, it's not all that cramped, but it kind of feels a little bit. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to bring this down on another ceiling. We'll see. We can always, like, change that up after. The top part's the most important part for now. And actually, I need water, so I'm just going to get away. You're in the way, man. <laughs> I can't punch him and make him move, apparently. <laughs> uh, I can't get water. Let me go over here. Water. Amazing. It makes such a weird noise nowadays. It's really strange. Okay. So, I think maybe we'll just fill back to that point there. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Failed to place one and fell. All right, we're going to finish this off, and I'll be back. Okay. Chuck that back in there. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Still unsure about the height, but we can figure that out at some point. So, we want some of these up here. I think that looks good because the tip of the wood railings coming up the ramps meets up with the wood bit of the stone ones and I like that looks good okay um I think from here we want to kind of actually because this is this is gonna have a roof by the way this isn't just gonna be completely open to the sky um so let's go by let's go by like six I'd say have like a large roof on this thing here maybe even seven we'll see we'll see so that was three back, right? Okay. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, cool. So we're not going to have, like, walls going along the whole thing, but we're just going to have, like, occasional walls like this. So uh, from here, I think we'll just go, like, another five or something, and then we'll have another wall maybe. Uh, that actually is six, and this is where the last wall will be, I guess. Um, so what do I have that on number five? Sweet. Five, six. Um, so we're going to be able to like fly creatures in here. Um, uh, is that six? Yeah, I think that's six. We're going to be able to like fly creatures in here. And, um, I think I'm not exactly sure what's going everywhere pretty much like in the workshop. 
that's still kind of to be determined like this i don't know i don't want to just like rush into it completely but i do need to kind of get something done here today um i think in this main section here hmm maybe we could build the workshop up the center so we'd have like smithies fabricators all up the center here that could work actually because then you'd have like the staircases coming up and it's not going to really intrude on this area here and like we wouldn't really have enough space on this like little run right here so yeah we could do all the workshop in the center that could work actually yeah let's do that um this i think i'm thinking seven ceilings high or maybe even eight yeah let's go eight screw it let's just make a massive ceiling on the top of this place i'm thinking of also having the uh giant uh roof trap door things i think i'm not sure if they're part of the normal game are they uh roof um these things i don't yeah i don't think these are in the actual game so in s plus you have like the giant um what are they called wait no no that's not the roof thing no that's not the correct one wait what is it again trap the giant trap door is there like a normal sloped roof trapdoor thing in Ark? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. But they have them for like sloped roofs like what I'm going to do here. We're going to have this like all pivot up into the center point pretty much. Um, and we're going to have like, uh, you know, the trapdoors and stuff on the top. Just for mostly decoration but also for function I guess in a sense. So yeah, we're going to have to put some more walls up here. But we could do that after. Um, to be honest, I wish I had a Tapajara so we could build because Tapajaras are great at like helping you to build because you're able to move around uh very freely so i think yeah we're gonna have to tear apart our old house here a little bit um let's go inside oh man <laughs> we just like destroyed it a little bit already let's just uh pull away some of the roof here it sucks because it was such a nice little house but you know what like it wasn't ever supposed to be permanent it did just turn out pretty nice though is is the only issue <laughs> Oh my god. And that's surprising considering it's something I built. And I still do not believe my building skills are up to par. And speaking of that, we're probably at some point going to hire people like a rally and UTC to come and help us build something. Because they have a cool business that we need to go and check out, by the way. We need to go to the shopping district uh, on the server at some point. Because I also am going to be making my little business here pretty soon, which is going to be pretty exciting. Um... Let's pick up all this crap. Oh, crap. I didn't think of that. Damn it. I don't want to lose those. I don't like losing materials. Um, there's a dodo egg. I'll pick that up. I think for some of this stuff, like, I don't really want to... Oh, crap. No, we're out of uh, spark powder. Uh, we don't have any. No. Uh, do I have any in here? Where the hell's my spark powder? I don't have any. Crap. Okay, we gotta, we gotta sort out this situation. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, give me some stones... We have 200 stones, should be enough. I'm going to start losing some food here. I had spark powder earlier. Where the hell did it... When the hell did it start to spoil or whatever? Let's just drop some in for now. We're going to move this all later. Um, crap. Let's put that in there. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I don't think we lost any eggs anyway. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to move all this right now. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Uh, what I might do is there's an S-plus gun that we could uh, transfer things. So if I make a storage chest, a large one, I can transfer everything from here into that. Actually, you know what? I could do it straight into the vault or into the uh, fabricator right here. Let me go grab some thatch. Let's do that really quick. And then what we'll do is we'll pick up the smithy, transfer everything from the fabricator to the smithy, and then move the fabricator. So, gonna need the transfer gun. That's this one, right? This is pretty cool, and this is why I love S Plus. Like, honestly, it, it's it's the type of mod that I think most people that do what I do <laughs> would probably want. I think it's a little bit silly to try and play full vanilla arc nowadays because seriously, it's like it's difficult. <laughs> I hate the building. Oh man. Okay. So, smithy, I think we'll probably end up putting the smithy on the end here. I don't know. We'll probably end up moving some of this stuff. We'll see. For now, I'm just going to put it there. We're going to set the... Uh, we have to set 
the uh, source and then transfer. And then everything's going to be in here. So handy for just moving around resources. It doesn't move blueprints for some reason, by the way. I don't know why. Uh, we got to make sure that there's nothing in here before we pick this up. Okay, we're good. Uh, so we need this one here. And it's picked up. And also, we should probably go ahead and uh, do this. That way we can just pick these up for now. And I think... what? Oh, apparently... What? Oh, it must have been crafting. That's what happened. <laughs> That's weird. Um, so, I think, like, are we close to getting... No, we're not at all close to getting a chemistry bench. I don't even know why I was thinking I would be. Uh, that kind of sucks, because we're going to need one of those. I'm going to need to definitely leave some space for the chemistry bench. I'll probably end up just moving most things in the workshop at one point, but uh, for now, I think we'll end up just sticking them here. I know that's probably not perfect, by the way, but we're going to, as I said, we're wow, that is way off. <laughs> we're gonna move it at some point don't worry don't worry don't let the OCD trigger you it's gonna be fine okay we haven't even used this one I was just there for decoration pretty much um so I guess we can stick that over here maybe I don't know for now it's fine whatever I just want to chuck everything up here for now I guess so gotta go ahead and you know what? I'm just gonna pick up that table Pick you up and pick you up. I can grab the bag now in a second. Uh, we're gonna just put the table here for now. And then put all these guys up here for the moment. And we can actually do this transfer with these little bags, which is super handy. So there we go. Everything's in there. Sweet, and then the bag should disappear. Correct. Awesome. Okay, well, this is the start of the workshop anyway. I'm really excited to uh, continue this, but I think we got to tear up the rest of the house here for now. Um, okay. Going to just grab up all the rest of this. I'm not at the point where I can get a forge either. So we got to leave room for like a lot of things in here. We're probably going to end up having to move quite a lot of stuff. But I think just kind of trying to... What the hell did I just pick up? How did I pick that up through the wall? Oh, crap. Oh, no. It's a, it's just charcoal. Actually, you know what? We could probably go ahead and just transfer that into a uh, mortar and pestle anyway. Also, I want to have like a pretty decent ice item room. So I'm not exactly sure where I want to build that. I'm not sure if I want to like build that as like a separate spot or if I'm going to build that like a pier or something. I'm not really sure what we're going to do for the items this season because in last season, if you guys remember in the base we had um, we had a bunch of these and they had like uh, little picture frames beside them and on each of the picture frames the item was like painted on it. Um, so we had like, you know, like pictures of like polymer and electronic and stuff and that would like kind of symbolize what's inside the chest but I'm not sure what we're going to do this season. Because I know how we can get with the items. At a certain point, we're going to just be OP with all these amazing teams and stuff. And we're just going to have, like, a bunch of wood and a bunch of stone. And, like, cementing paste was the thing that just completely filled up my whole base last time. It was crazy. So, I don't know. I kind of want to use these because they have quite a lot of storage. But I don't know if I will or if I'm going to use vaults. So, that's going to be something I'm going to have to think about for a little while here. And I'm not sure if we're going to do the item room yet. We might end up holding off on that. I thought that was an egg for a second. So what I might do next is just try to get the roof on, I guess. Some of it, at least. We'll see. So yeah, I think i got to do some more crafting anyway, because we need some more of those roofs. And then we will be back. Okay, so... So far, what I've done is... I have come up with, like, walls on the side here, and then I placed a sloped wall up there. Uh, and then I removed all those walls besides one below it, and then I placed an upside-down sloped one there. So I think that looks pretty good as kind of like a structural support. Um, what I might end up actually doing at some point is sticking, like, what we have right there on the other side of this wall here. So we'd have, like, one on each, pretty much. One on each side. I don't know. We might actually do that right now, to be honest. Yeah, I think I will. I have to grab more walls. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and just do one of those here on camera. So, 
we have a bunch of what are they called the roof things crafting up oh they're already done awesome uh, i'm gonna actually put those in there for so i can save some weight uh and i have enough of these i believe not enough to do the whole thing i'll need to craft a couple more but i have a couple materials on me so we're okay all right so what i pretty much did was to get it onto the same ceiling instead of having to like mess around with snap points i just kind of remove that one and then put it back after and then we're just going to come up like this. Yeah. And then we got to go in the RG. Now, this is the tricky part. I seriously hate doing this. I wish we had a tape jar. Kind of have to kind of like do little trips like this. I think what we're going to do is we're going to come further out and then we're going to come close in. Oh, we had it. There we go. And then it's a matter of trying to get the sloped bit on and I think uh, it's this it's one of these no it's actually the other one I'm trying to figure out which one I needed to put up there and then we can remove that after actually let's remove that right now I'll just do the rest of them off cam because a little bit tricky kind of breaking some things occasionally and then we're just going to remove all those and then head back up and this should be uh, there like that that looks pretty good, and what we can do as well is uh, we can stick an upside down roof right there, and to be honest, I might also stick some, yeah, we'll stick some wall, yeah, we'll stick like two walls right there. So yeah, I have a little bit more work to do, actually, that, that sounds like a good idea. So basically what I'm going to do is we're going to stick a upside down roof attached to these here, so it's going to, you know, we're not going to see like a gap between here, and then we're also going to stick walls up, so you're not going to see any gap, it's just going to look like a big structural support thing. So yeah, I'm going to do all that. Unfortunately, it's raining, so it really sucks. But uh, I'll do all that, and then we will be back. Okay, so I've put up most of the roof here. I just thought we'd finish it off here a little bit. I decided to just go ahead and finish this off, because honestly, it was just like... I don't know, it was kind of the same thing over and over. Let's just try to get these last pieces in. So from here, what we're going to do is... Because as you can see at the front, we have like the... Um, we have like this bit going along here, like uh, I guess, I don't even know what to call that, like an archway kind of. We're not going to put an archway on this one here, instead we're going to have another archway like this at the very end, when it, wherever that's going to be and how far that's going to be from here. I'm not exactly sure how large this building's going to turn out, but we're not going to put another archway in until we get to the end. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the plan here. We're just gonna keep working on this at some point. Probably not in the next episode. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just do some taming or something. Cause I seriously do need some more tames. And we're probably also gonna have to do something else because it looks a little bit weak. Um, maybe I'll stick some pillars or something attached to these walls going up here. Do I even have? I think I still have some pillars actually. Yeah, we do. We can try that right now. Although I think I'm gonna need to. I think I'm gonna need to place down some stuff before I do that. Let me see. I can't. I don't think I'll be able to just attach these, will I? No. I need to get... Yeah, I need to get them to attach onto the side of this. And to do that... Jeez, uh, how do I even... How do I do that again? I think... I don't know. I can't remember. There's like several methods. I'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan here. I Seriously, yeah, this looks a little bit weak on the side. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe I could stick like a pillar going up the center actually. That might look not look too bad. And that would just like kind of connect in with the top there. How's that look? I don't think that's connected in yet, but that doesn't look too bad actually. If we can connect that in, that wouldn't look awful. Let me see. Okay. Keep forgetting that you can hit X to kind of slow down on the RG. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I'm not exactly sure about it, though. We'll see. We'll see. It does actually kind of give a nicer feel to the to the area here, though. Because it's not just so, like, square. Um, how does that look? That looks nice, actually. I kind of like that. We'll keep that. We'll definitely keep that. Oh, crap. Where the hell did that go? Oh, it went... Oh, no, wait. No, that's not in the right place. <laughs> all right. Well, I can finish all that off after. 
But um, yeah, guys, that's probably gonna be it for today. Um, this was like this took a while. <laughs> it's still gonna take quite some time to get the rest of this done. But uh, I'm pretty excited. Let me know if you guys have any um, ideas or anything for the base. Um, obviously, I just want to mention that we're not just going to have like it all open on the bottom here. Like seriously, there's a lot more work that needs to go into this. And it's going to be just freaking massive. And it's probably going to span out to the different sides and stuff. I'm not exactly sure yet. We'll see. But uh, I am really excited to, to kind of get working on it. Because I don't know, like the base is kind of like the main part of the series. I kind of feel, you know. Like, we have a bunch of teams and stuff, but, like, the base is always the main project, and uh, I want to get it right this season. I think we did really good last season. A lot of people really liked the base, but, um, I don't know. I, I kind of just, I want to make them better, you know? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be crazy to just uh, try to top what we did last season, though. But I am up to the challenge. <laughs> Alright, well you know what guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button, really does help out, do appreciate it, and if you guys want to see more, subscribe, and obviously ideas down below, and I'll see you guys next time.